guys. Uh, it's David Sack again, the commissioner of AD4 Loco. I wanted to go into a few more details here for you guys to um, just flesh out the league a little bit better. The last video I talked about the basics of the league, how it was campus to Canton style, rolling bankroll, uh, promotion and relegation. Uh, what else did I cover? Superhero themed. Uh, we'd have superhero contests. Go back and watch my last video if you haven't seen that one yet for the basics. Um, so much stuff is going to be crammed into this thing. You're never going to be short of something to do. Uh, it will be best ball lineups. I like having best ball leagues. I think it's easier to recruit people. Um, the key is having other stuff going on because people join a best ball league and they check out. They forget about it. I always tell people on Twitter, I prefer to play GM and scout talent. I don't want to make lineup decisions on Sundays. Um, we are discussing possibly having lineups set during the playoffs. Um, so the regular season would be based on best team, get best ball lineups each week. Um, possibly have lineups for the playoffs. Haven't decided on that yet. But since it's best ball, I need to have a lot of extra stuff going on. We're going to have weekly contests. We're going to have monthly contests. We're going to have a bunch of tournaments during the middle of the season. We've got a, this is all uh, European soccer type theme. So we've got the Premier League that is the very top league. We've got um, a Champions League tournament at the end of the year that you qualify for. We've got a Europa League that you qualify for, uh, EFL Cup. We've got a mid-season FA Cup where the it's most of the entire league enters into that. Uh, I have a tournament a few, a few weeks into the FA Cup when most of the league has been eliminated from that. We start a NASCAR chase style tournament where you move on from, from uh, week to week based on high score. Um, we've got I've got a Winner's Cup tournament at the beginning of the year based on the previous year. Uh, a bunch of, if you win different tournaments, you qualify for that one. There's going to be a ladder rankings where after the first year, you'll have a ranking set up of all the different teams. If you're the top team at the end of year two, you make $100. Uh, if you are tier three, there's a few teams above you in tier two. You can challenge those teams. If you win, you move up into tier two and they drop down into tier three. If you lose, you have to wait a certain amount of weeks to be able to challenge them again. Uh, I'm going to throw in a little bit of a, a wrestling WWE tweak where the winner of the Winner's Cup tournament at the beginning of the season will receive the right to challenge the top team no matter where they're at on the ladder. They don't have to be Tier 2, but wherever they're at, they can ch challenge the, tier t uh, the top team and jump all the way up to the top. So you're going to have constantly, constantly stuff going on. There's side games, there's bets, we've got a lottery system, we've got a stock market that we're working on based on projected points and player ADP, We've got, like I said, bets you can make like all the other bankroll leagues have. Honestly, if you're joining this league and you feel like there's not anything going on, it's because you're not trying. I have a motto with my leagues, always be competing. I provide as many possible ways for you to have fun through the year as possible. Uh, it's promotion and relegation, so you're always constantly trying to move up. The teams at the top have a lot to play for. There's bigger prizes. The teams at the bottom are working to get better. As you work your way up, I've got contests that you qualify for. You always have something you can do. There's always ways you can win money. There's always ways you can win bankroll or turn your bankroll into more bankroll. Everything. So, so, so much stuff that I want to have in this league. It's going to take a special owner. It's going to take a crazy owner. If you're crazy enough that this type of thing interests you, I want you in this league. If you're the guy that's like, wouldn't it be fun if we had this kind of a contest in all of your other leagues? This league is for you. If you are the type of guy that is always looking for something to do, making trades, talking, anything, this league is for you. If we have enough interested owners, I would open up some, some of the guillotine leagues that MFL just opened up. I'd like to use so many ideas. Some, <laughs> again, this is almost a five-minute video. I don't want to make this too long. wanted to throw some of my crazier ideas at you guys. I can't wait. I really can't wait. If you've got interested in joining the league, like I said in the last one, fill out the form, sign up form, get on the waiting list, hit me up on Twitter, uh, join the league Twitter, which is AD4 Grandmaster. Um, if you can follow me, I am Ron Dynasty, R O N Dynasty. Uh, happy to chat with you guys. Uh, I've got a group me chat that is a waiting room that I'm starting to form and fill so that we can get guys that want to be in this league 
together, talking about ideas, figuring things out. Uh, it's it's starting and it's going to be exciting. I, I just can't wait to get all of you guys together. Um, so hit me up. I will get another video out to you guys shortly, hopefully. Uh, just kind of sprinkle these in whenever I have time to throw something together. And uh, yeah, that's all I got. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.